how I would set myself apart as a podcaster in the world of podcasting. I asked you if you had any questions for me to answer from the podcast show last week in May. Uh, just in case you see this near or far in the future. Um, and one of the big questions that was asked was, what are some ways that podcasters can set themselves apart from all of the other podcasters out there? And I think this is such an interesting question because I speak to people that want to do a podcast about X, but they know three other people that do that. Now, I understand market saturation and I understand that you don't want competition, but this is all about knowing yourself. If you're going to create content, you need to know what your goal is. What's your unique lens? Nobody has had your experience. So you could build a brand and you can have completely different measurements of success from a subject matter that no one, no one else has that, right? No one else has that lens. No one else has, they might have the same purpose, but they don't have the experience that you have. Now, this might be that you have no experience in something and you want to enter into a field that you know nothing about and you want to learn about it. I want to learn about how to be a better copywriter. I'm going to go on a journey to learn how to be a better copywriter. And people can resonate with that naivety and that sort of infancy of learning something. So really, there's nowhere that your unique lens can't be effective in starting a podcast and setting yourself apart from other people. But you have to identify that and do the introspection to work that out before you tell the world what you're doing. The next thing on this is know your audience. Uh, there's so many podcasters out there that find that they don't quite know their audience. Um, I have a good friend that says, if you don't know their name and you don't have their email, you don't know your audience. And that's true, right? If you can get that information, you can ask them what they want and, and you can speak to that and you can create content that just answers their problems, their desires, their needs. And that's what people want. They want content that feels like it's for them. Podcasting especially. The only other voice you hear in your head is your own. And then longevity and growth are key in setting yourself apart from other podcasters. So many podcasts don't get past episode eight. Seldom do many get past episode 20. So if you stay in the game and you're in a specific niche and you know your audience, you know thyself, you've done that deep work, then just sticking to your guns can actually just help you rise to the top. As other people give up, they get bad information, they get bored in the process, they don't optimize, they don't find a great podcast coach that can inspire and guide them. Um, so yeah, and, and your audience will then trust you because you've, stick, you've stuck with it. And that's really important. So that is how I would set myself apart as a podcaster in the world of podcasting. Mm -hmm.